<laughs> Hello, my darling Fumination. For the new citizens, welcome to my channel. My name is Fumite Saluvol. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, before I start, let us give a round of applause to Dr. Linda F. Williams for coming on the show last week. She was phenomenal. I love her. And I want to especially thank you, Linda, for coming on to the show. Thank you to my beautiful Fumi Nation who brought her to my attention. I live for you. You guys are so vibrant, so exciting. I missed you. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> did you miss me? <laughs> I really did. I enjoy my job. I started this off as a hobby but I enjoy my job. It is a job. Trust and believe me, it's a job. And I love it. It's a career. It's my passion. I get to play with makeup and dress up and be with my girlfriends and be with my daughters and my sisters and my aunties. I love it. And I missed you. A lot is happening behind the scenes. Mm. <laughs> a lot is happening behind the scenes. I'm dying to tell you. I cannot wait, but all in due time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, fun, exciting things. I had a wonderful weekend. For those of you that are asking, how was your weekend, may I ask? Was it fabulous? Alrighty, my darling. So we are back with what? Another sister to sister. And we're talking about money. Money most especially with married women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get into it, let us talk about the glam. So we're doing ponytail vibes. I live, I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this top is by Zara. It had pants and it was fabulous. It was sold out and I couldn't get it. But I got the top and I thought, why not? Because we are in that Christmas festive season. Can you believe? 2021 is almost over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. And we are going to play with this palette. I am in love with it. It's a face palette. If I which I will, was to do a face palette, it would have been something like this. I am surprised that Morphe did such a good palette. I saw it at the Morphe store, uh, Stratford, and um, Christine and I got it together. Yes, and I was hesitant about these shades. They are fabulous. I haven't contoured my face. I want to show you why not. As a matter of fact, we're gonna use this palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the bronzer, we've got the contour, we've got here to highlight underneath, we've got two highlighters plus blusher. What more do we need? Mascara, lashes, gloss, that's about it. You know, that's about it. So, what is the palette called? It is 8D Deep Glam. Let me, there you go, Complexion Pro. That is what it is. I know you'll be saying for me, where are your nails? I was uh, putting gel on my nails and I was getting them done every two weeks. And because of the filing, my nails became thin. So I cut them all off and I'm regrowing them. I'll figure them out. I have a toddler, I have a glam job and I have to find a happy medium. I don't like tips, no, because they, they destroy your nails, you know? And so I have to figure them out, but they're clean, they're nice, my little hands, you know, you know. So that's about that. Now, what was I talking about? Money. Money in marriages. Money in general, but money in marriages. I get a lot of... And we're going to use this shade right here. Let me just see. Oh, it has the names. It has the names on the palette. Oh, for me, what are you looking at? Okay, so we have Brightener. There we go. We have a Brightener here. We have Bronzer 1, Bronzer 2, Contour, when I tell, you, you're going to see because I'm going to use it anyway. Blush, blush, highlighter, highlighter. Fabulous, fabulous. And I am using Jaclyn Hills. Let me just see what this brush is. It is Jaclyn Hill 14, JH14. I like it because it's wispy. I like brushes. I'll tell you right here and now, you can have a technique. But when I tell you, if you don't have the tools, hmm. So let us go with bronzer number two because I am rich toned my very good self. Okay, I love this palette. I've been using it all weekend for 
you know what's about to come I'll tell you also about that you'll find that all in due time I'm going to clean the mirror so that I can see what I'm doing okay so as I was saying I get a lot of DMs especially married women talking about how they've now come to that unfortunate time in their lives do you see the bronzing do you see how fabulous this is and I'm dark I am dark and this just gives me all the life and I just kind of grease it down you know so that it just gives that beautiful warm effect I love the fact that it's got the blusher the highlighter and the brightener all in one palette and all of the colors work for me I bring it all the way into my hair and they've got into that unfortunate stage in their lives where the marriage is over And now the lifestyle is over. Yep. The lifestyle is over and they've got no finances. They've got no savings. It's a dangerous place to be. Dangerous. Because as much as you can love somebody, you can despise them, you can hate them. They're threatening to take away your kids. You live in a house, all of a sudden you're in a flat with neighbors a little too close for comfort. That's how you feel once you've lived a certain way. My mother always worked. My father, wonderful man, always provided for the family. Always did. My mother worked, she had money, she always put into the family. She bought stuff for the home, the house, she bought for us. Ula, the same thing. Once I accepted Ula's proposal, Ula said, for me, send me your bills. And that was including my rent. And he paid for everything up until this very day. That was just what he assumed was expected of him. On top of which, when I left California to move to Norway, they have a system where you have to learn um, Norwegian. And so you go to classes. So... Ola had a job, I didn't have a job, he paid. Yeah? Sometimes, on Instagram, I see girls, I see women, and they have got all of the displays of the finest pieces of jewelry, bags, clothes. And I used to have a Birkin bag. I used to, but that was when I was single. I treated it in. But if you are having those kind of items in a marriage and you don't have a mortgage, you have children, little ones like Adrian, where you still got to pay school fees. As much as you're carrying that bag, you really can't afford that bag. This is the contour. Sha, 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 sha. When I tell you I love this pack just you know spritz it all around this is now closer to the edges and it just gives me that warm glow as if I've been in Miami or Dubai I've been to both oh God the sunshine and do you see how it just warms up your face and you just bring it underneath your cheekbone and you just fan it out okay and it's such a gorgeous 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 palette if it's a bit too much I think it's a bit too much you can just always dab down okay and you can even use here the brightener let's use the brightener see what that gives us yeah I love this yeah the brightener is nice right in the forehead right there mm-hmm you cannot afford the bag as comfy cozy as you would be in a marriage you always have to think of security again you say for me i have security my husband's rich my this is rich and you know what we can afford until you can't afford it you guys know your man so I won't go too much into it. I'm going to take this little brush because I think we're just going to do a very 
cool glam yeah i'm gonna go in with the bronzer and i'm gonna put that on my lids yeah there you go yes instagram is not real it isn't especially when it comes to glamorous items as such people like kylie jenner can afford kim can afford they've bought their houses uh, well as you heard the plural houses they have their businesses and they are giving so much they can afford to have a Birkin bag, Rolex watches, and the like. But when you have your family, and when your husband is very well off, and you, I'm just greasing it down on the side here, and down my nose, just to slim it down, just to straighten it a little bit. I was in a fight. <laughs> and it kind of sort of bent. I want to get it corrected, but I'm like, for me, wait, <laughs> again, money. You have to prioritize because things can change. Do not be too, don't look, don't look down on jobs. Have a little something on the side to keep you occupied and going. We're going to go in with the contour. Okay. This look is just something for you guys to do and you'll still be gorgeous, still be glamorous, but you have one palette and you don't have to have too many colors. Hmm? Okay. Can you see the contour? I'm going to put that right into the crease, just punching that in right there. And for those asking, it's Morphe. It's a Morphe palette. <laughs> there you go. Minimum fallout. I like I like it a lot. Learn to save. Even if he gives you money and you have an allowance, learn to save. Because the way things can change up, it will hit you on a Tuesday afternoon when you least expected it. And so, my darlings, that brings us to story time. Listen to the story. Ula and I have been married now. 12 years, going 13. Wonderful years, with so much more to come. Amen, by the special, special grace of God. And in our home, Ula is the morning guy. He wakes up at five, Monday through Friday, and he does do the same thing during the weekends. He opens up the house, draws the curtains. 99.9% .9 of the time, before I open my eyes to see him, I can smell him because he wears the same cologne. So I know he's awake. He makes breakfast every weekend. He's the one that makes breakfast for me, for Adrian, for himself. We all sit down, we have fun. On this particular occasion, Adrian wasn't feeling too good. And for those of you that have toddlers, you know how it goes. <laughs> They're either sleeping in your bed or you're sleeping in theirs. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> but that is the case. I'm just going to use this little gold highlighter here in the arch of my brows. Okay. Oh, I love it. and just drag it down. This brush is also by Morphe, one of my all-time favorites. It's 131. Okay, do you see? Just that little, little love right there. And we do the same on this side too. Like I said, it's an everything palette. And that is what we need sometimes. Because not everybody can afford to buy, you know, all different types of makeup all the time. But I find that this is really nice and this is good for you guys. So this would work, okay? All right. I'm gonna take Pat McGrath and this is a beautiful um, pencil. I love it because it's big, it's round, the black crayon, and it's soft. 
So it's not harsh on your waterline. You don't want that. Okay. See? Instant glam. For those of you that have hooded eyes like me, make sure that your wing eyeliner is low. Just low so that it's really more precise, okay? Even little Padusk <laughs> knows Ula's routine in the mornings. Like I said, I had spent the night with Adrian. And so, for sure, guaranteed on the weekends, Ula comes down by 7 a.m. He did it even before we had Adrian and nothing had changed in having Adrian. It was always 7, he would come into the room and say, okay, up you get, let's make breakfast, we'll talk, we'll laugh. That was just his thing. This particular morning, 7.15, Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. Live for it. The wand is tiny, and so it just works for my little lashes. I'm gonna put on falsies, but I just wanted you to see, yeah? Do we see, darlings? Do we love? Mm -hmm. He hadn't come down the stairs, and I couldn't hear him either, moving around upstairs, because we have a bathroom upstairs, so usually I would hear him pitter-pattering. 7.30, came about 7.45, eight. We're going to use what? Chioma lashes, and these are Beauty by JJ. She has her own brand. I've said it a hundred times, but I get in so many new citizens, I have to repeat it so that you guys know. And these lashes are called Chioma. They're lovely, they're wispy, they, they understand the assignment, so we're going to put these on. I'm cleaning them because I used them the last time and I, I think I had a glitter, a glitter lid, so I got little particles. <laughs> they last, I think you get like 30 wears, yeah. And for those asking, this incident happened in this house. We had just moved in, maybe two, three months, okay? So I'm talking about 2019. Make sure that the lash, the glue, the adhesive is a little bit dry. Once it's a little bit dry, it becomes extremely sticky. Because it's sticky and not wet, it will not glide. And if it does not glide, it will not what? It will not mess up your makeup, okay? I like using black glue. Clear glue is okay too, actually, but I like using black. And that way, it just sticks, it just sticks. It's right there, and you're good. Do we love, darlings? Do we love? By 8.15, the sun had come up. Yes, 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 yes. The sun had come up because we moved in here End of November, I had Insta stories where I was going house hunting and you guys were with me. You guys kind of chose this house too. You loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to go in with this blusher. Let's try this. Yeah, let's go in with this blusher. It's quite pigmented. Oof. Ooh. Yes, put it down there and let's just give it circular motions. And just put a little bit right there on your temple. Do you see? And just kind of swish that out. Like I said, 8.15, 8.30. The sun had come up. And I could hear the birds chirping. And I looked at Adrian. Laughing beside me. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself... If anything happened to Ula, could I afford this house? Do you like? 
-hmm. Yes. Should I wear a nude lip or a red lip? Not too strong colored. Maybe a pink lip? A light one. Okay. I looked at Adrian and I said, would I be able to afford a nanny for him? Seriously. Because I couldn't hear Ula upstairs. And at that stage, my life was perfect. My life was, I'm, I'm in a happy marriage. I have my beautiful son. We had just moved to a house where I was able to now have my studio, this studio, in my living facilities. Because just before, when we were thinking of moving, just before we were thinking of moving, um, why were we moving? Because we had gone to California, and Adrian was still tiny. But we had been in California for about, and this is summer, autumn 2019. By the time we were making our way back, Adrian was walking. We lived in a two-bedroom flat. I'll leave the empty flat tour of our older house below, so you'll really have a visual, and of course of this new house. And so we had decided that I should have studio space, rent studio space, because it was too dangerous for Adrian to be walking around with all of these lights, cords, wires. It's dangerous. So we were going to rent a place. And I was looking for places. And they were like 2,400, 2,300. And you have to leave. You can imagine. I have to leave all of my equipment, makeup there and everything. And that's on the insurance. So we had decided it's better to save that money. Get a bigger place. It saves time. You're working really truly from home. You don't have any travel time, any transport to think of. This was the better deal. And as I sat there with Adrian, I said, would I be able to afford this? Because Ula has financially taken care of me from before we, act, from before we got married. Yes, when he proposed. It just dawned on me. It really did. And when you have children, that's what happens also. It's not about you. It really is about the children. You brought them here. You have to provide for them. You have to take care of them. And so, um, all the questions I asked myself, the answer was no. You can't afford this house, forms. No way. You can't afford to provide for Adrian the way that he's living right now. No way. And in all that time, I was still hoping that Ula will come downstairs. He didn't. And it wasn't like him. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Every one of us have a style. We have a man with him. And when you step out of that routine, it's very obvious to those around you. It's not as if he came down late sometimes. He never did. He never did. Even in the four months that we were here, he never did. He never did. Do we love, darlings? Do we love? All right, we're going to go in with the pink, okay? I just want to use all the colors so you can see how fabulous this is. And there's a little bit of highlighter. I thought to myself, should I bring Adrian upstairs? Again, the two offices are here. Ula's office, my office, master bedroom. But downstairs is childproof. We did it that way. So that Adrian can play, we can change his diaper in the bathroom and all of that. I decided and I thought to myself, if I bring him up and I have to deal with the unexpected, I would have to put him safely somewhere and act accordingly. And I didn't know what I was to, what was what was going to be. So I left him downstairs. The stairs up from the second floor to the third floor, because there are three floors in this house. We have the first floor, which is the kitchen, um, um, garage, uh, laundry room, bathroom, is the first. And then the second floor really is just Adrian. And then the third floor is upstairs. And I was walking up the stairs and it felt like eternity. I had to go up and at the same time, I didn't want to get there. And it's so weird 
because I thought of all the good times we had. I thought of all the good times we had. It's a very out of body experience, but I was terribly calm. When I got upstairs, I circled round. And that's the palette, my darlings. I truly love it. The red too is nice. Should we try the red? Let me try it on the high tops. Ooh, yes. Just look very rich. I'll just put it up here. Oh, yes. I'll just put it up here. You know I love a good red blush. Oh, yes. Just look. I live for it. And that's it, darlings. Let's go for lips. As I circled around, Ula was lying on his back. Feet were up. And I just came to the bed. As I stood there, his eyes flashed open. And he's like, oh, for me, I'm so sorry. I overslept. I overslept. I was so tired. I overslept. What time is it? I was so happy to see you. <laughs> I was so happy to see him. I said, what have we been waiting for you? What happened? He said, oh, I, I just really, truly overslept. I was tired. It's been a long week. And that was that. I'm going to use Lady Juvia's Place Live For It discount code F-U-M-I. One of the most beautiful nudes. Watch me. Creamy, gorgeous. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm going to taper that with chestnut from Mac. We had a wonderful breakfast and we laughed and I looked at him and I was smiling and I was in such appreciation. And I waited for the nanny to come and then I came to Ola and I said, Ola, we have to make some changes. I have to start saving. Anything happens to you, sickness or worse, I have to have savings. Oh, don't worry for me. I have, have it provided for us. I said, yes but I have to have money, my money. I need to have money. Let's say I put it for Adrian, but I have to have money just in case anything happens. He said, all right, no problem. I started saving every job I had. I saved the money till this very day. There's no shame in my game. If you're working, earning money, go right ahead. I still take clients and do their makeup. I still do virtual classes. Yes, I do. Because it's not about me anymore. Do we love, darlings? I just thought, you know what? This is something that you guys can relate to. And it's a nice Christmas beat. And then you can go ahead and change this lip out and have it for it. But 99% of the time, you can wear this to work. You can wear this for your Zoom call. You can wear this to a party and you're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous with a ponytail to boot. Easy peasy. Hmm. So we're going to go in with poor professional. Yep. And this is the super setter and it lasts about 16 hours. I do like it. I got in PR, kind of sort of addicted. Oh. <laughs> Fabulosity, darling. Fabulosity. And there you have it, darlings. What do you think? So if he gives you money, you save it. 
You don't need the Chanel bag. You don't need the Gucci. Don't get me wrong. I have those items. Spoil yourself here and there. What I'm saying is that you don't need 20 Gucci bags. You don't need 17 Louis Vuitton bags. You don't need 10 Birkin bags. You are not Cardi B. Neither am I. I'm not Kimmy. Neither are you. We don't have that kind of coin. You do not want to find yourself in a vulnerable situation if your partner falls sick, gets into an accident, passes away, what then? The thing is that when things were great and good, you should have saved. You should have saved. Now, all of a sudden, your lifestyle has changed and you will have to make those adjustments. I have a wonderful lady, wonderful. She's so nice. And she had all of these things. And the husband had issues, drinking, you know, not coming back on time. And you know the red flags, my darling sisters, you know. Once he's doing something like that, then your security is jeopardized. He has jeopardized your security because he has put his drinking, he's going out, or whatever he's doing before you. Maybe not before the kids, but for sure before you. He's not putting you in consideration. Why? Because nobody will put you in front of the gunfire line. And it is so sweet. It is so sexy. It's so hot. <makes noise> While it's nice. Until it's not. And then what? And I love me some Ula. You already know. I love him. I love Ula. But for me, what would happen if he was not able to provide anymore very 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 real it's not anything that is impossible i have friends where their husbands passed away super super early um she was actually family would i say family friends lovely girl she had just gotten married she was five weeks pregnant. Yep. He died in a car accident on the way to the airport to pick up her mom or something like that. We all know what happened September 11th. We see the September 11th babies every September 11th, how they've grown, you know, from babies, toddlers, teen weens, teenagers. Now they're in their twenties and the mothers were at home pregnant at the time, not knowing that they were going to face a life without the father, snatched away just like that. Watch your money. I do the same thing too. I tell you, and this is true tea, nature of my job, you got to look fabulous. At the same time, and I can afford, yeah, Willa's money, to go and buy designer pieces here and there, dresses, blouses, but to what end? For what? You have to understand things that are trendy have a six month shelf line. So I buy high street. I also go to thrift stores and buy clothes, dry clean them and wear them. Yes, I do. I put a couple of pictures up thrift stores, seven pounds, six pounds, eight pounds. I'm just not that woman anymore. I don't need it. I feel that you know what for me, you look good. Your skin is clear. You have your exercises. You look slim. You look good in everything. But what is most important is my security and the security of my husband and my son, because the tables may turn where I will have to take care of Ola and Adrian. Who's to see? I just know that it is better to be prepared. Find a job. I did retail even when I was married to Ula because I was bored at home. I wanted to do something. So I would do retail. And I love makeup, as you can very well see. I love talking with people, engaging with them. I wasn't crazy about the politics, you know, the managers. Oh my God, it's so bossy. Oh. But I loved it. And I, there's no shame in my game. I will go out, look for jobs, go out, hustle and grind, save the money, save the money, most especially when you know that your man is showing you a couple of red flags. Your time is coming. You better be prepared. Okay, my darlings, I hope that's a little tidbit for you. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, mm -hmm. share this video, leave all of your comments below. 
I love you so very much. I've got a couple of treats coming. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. And I love you. I love you, my sisters. We have to take care of each other. And if I know a little something, something, I'm coming here to, pss, pss, girl, get it together. Because this right here, homeboy, we're not too sure. Get it together. Do not be the element of surprise. Don't let the surprise be on you. Especially for my girls, my sisters that are in marriages that are not too sure. Not Even if they are good, good. And it just hits you that he's been sleeping with somebody else for God knows how long. Don't be that chick. Across the board, try and save. I know it's hard. Save a pound. It will add up. It will add up. And that's what I do. I don't spend anything. If you don't give it to me in PR. <laughs> right there in Morphe. And I always ask Morphe, Morphe, give me a discount code. Do, I'm an influencer. Do I get a discount? I don't care. I saw my mother ask for a discount in Harrods. And I looked at her. I gave it to her. Because apparently, I think they were going to, the prices were going to drop in a couple of days. And the woman said, okay, fine, 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 I'll give it to you now. And I said, mom, you asked for, you pay less. She said, for me, I've got children and I'm a woman. I'm not working full time. i got to save. Anything can happen. And I, it didn't hit me until that morning when Ula just did not come down the stairs. And I said, what if he never came down the stairs? It was scary. All of my love.